All right, ready? Okay, go. Okay, Wickerman, spot one, take one. Fat, what a bummer. <laughs> the only things worse are dieting and boring exercises. Well, now there's another way, and here's Dave Wickerman to tell us about it. Thanks, Johnny. Now you can cut your exercise program in half. Just supplement it with Wickerman's weight loss energy capsules. You know, Dave, the real downer about dieting is the way it makes me all cranky and out of sorts. Bad trip. Not anymore, John. When your mood is black, these little beauties will keep you going. And on those late nights, before finals, when Excuse you're really me. feeling down and out, me, you need something to... Uh, listen, it's really uh, exceptional copy here. I mean, the... Uh, <laughs> Message comes through loud and clear. Great, great. That's, uh, well, that's a pro talking, Dave. <laughs> and the pro isn't going to do these spots. I'm sorry, what? You know, her, your friend here is rather reptilian. What? Yeah, but if you put him on the air, you are definitely a snake. Wait. John, take a look at the copy. What, he's selling uh, diet aids? Well, they're not regular diet aids. I mean, uh, when your mood is black, these little beauties will keep you going. So, you think maybe the guy is trying to sell speed? Oh, come on, John. Look, not only that, I point out he's trying to sell it to kids down here on those late nights before finals. Now, what does taking a final exam have to do with losing weight? <laughs> Look, this is nuts. The guy cannot be selling speed over the counter. Well, I am saying that he is. Actually, you're both right. Oh, great. A drug expert. Black beauties, yellow jackets, mini white crosses, rainbows, reds, whites, ups, downs. Lester. What you have here are probably lookalikes or uh, turkeys, as we say on the street. Right. They're counterfeits of the actual amphetamines. They contain abnormally high concentrations of caffeine or other substances that are not federally controlled. But if you take enough of them, you go speeding. As Frank Zappa once said... How do you know so much? If either of you paid any attention at all to my noon reports, you'd know I did an in-depth study on them weeks ago. Well, uh, these lookalikes have surfaced in a number of major cities, but there's nothing anyone can do about them because they aren't the real drugs. Well, if that's the case, then what is the harm? So naive. <laughs> you tell him, John. Well, uh, kids think they're harmless because they're not real, so they start gobbling them by the handful. Right. Okay. I'll go have a confusing conversation with Carlson about this. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Good. Less, uh, I know about Mary Jane, too. So watch your step. <laughs> Mary Jane who? Now, I want these read before every Wickerman spot. This station does not endorse or recommend the use of the following product. Wow, really hard-hitting stuff. Yeah, well, lawyer wrote it. Yeah, well, he left out all the uh, whereases and therefores. <laughs> Do the best you can with it, all right? This is the worst, man. I can't believe they could force us to, to, to... What is it? What? You got that look in your eye. I can see it behind those shades. What look is that? That vigilante justice look. <laughs> Whereas it is strictly the opinion of this announcer, and therefore by no means a provable fact, the sponsor you're about to hear from is, to wit, a real scum bucket. <laughs> Now, I know I didn't go to one of those big Ivy League law schools, and uh, I didn't graduate at the top of my class, but I do know that scum buckets <laughs> is slanderous and definitely actionable. Which means? Well, I think the legal term for it would be your keister's in a sling. <laughs> Gosh, dog it. What? Johnny and Venus's nut bar spots are working. Of course they are. How many times have I told you the more tasteless commercials are, the better they work? I gotta, I gotta talk to Carlson about this. This might not be so easy to ride out. Thanks. Andy? Andy should see this. So should Mr. Carlson. Well, then so should I. I want to show it to someone in authority. Right. <laughs> Thank you.
Where did you get this? It was a news tip. Now, give it back. No. And you're not going to show it to Mr. Carlson. Or Andy either, and I mean it, Les. All right, out of the way, guys. Herbert's going on the air. You know, it's funny. You work here long enough, you start hallucinating. Get out. Herb's going on the air. Yeah. Does this mean we're going to have to go out and sell something? No, you got it. <laughs> A couple of days ago, I sold some commercials to uh, Workman's Weight Loss Studio. They were advertising these energy capsules and that were supposed to be legal and harmless. Well, today, a 15-year-old kid keeled over in his gym class, and his coach found these pills in his locker. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I... I well, I, I shouldn't have sold these spots to Mr. Wickerman, and, and I'm going to tear up his contract. I mean, he, he says he's going to sue us. I hope he doesn't. But I just wanted to say I, I'm sorry that we advertised this stuff, and well, we're not going to do it anymore. Yeah. I, I want it known that I, that I still believe in the uh, free enterprise system, and I believe in the right of anybody to advertise their product so long as it doesn't make kids faint. So, well, if you have a product that you'd like to advertise, just... <laughs> My name is Herb Tarlick and the phone number is 55... Thank you, Herbert. Drove by Wickerman's on the way in. A lot of picket signs? Twice as many as yesterday. Now, here's the best part. There's a sign in the window that says, Going Out of Business. Really? Yeah, I heard about that. I had Herb check it out. The guy's landlord's throwing him out. Outstanding. So we've won. No. He's moving to the other side of town, all perfectly legal.